And we used to talk, and we used to talk about gardening and landscaping. And I was, I was talking to him about lifting weights. I remember there was times he would write me when I was in the penitentiary, and I would give him a workout. There's a few times he came to see me. I did my best. Sometimes we can't change the choices we make in life. One of the things I've always said, and I'm a firm believer of it, is I never had a father at all. And I tried, I shouldn't say I tried, I did my best to do what was right for my son. At one time, I thought I was a man, and this goes for every last one of you young men in here and young women. I don't blame nobody. I blamed myself when I first heard about it because I second guessed myself. I have a family in Eugene and I tried my best to get down here and be with my son and my daughter, Brittany. And the reason why I say don't blame, nobody could blame herself, me or Alexis, anybody. Some people are raised by society. I know I was. When I thought I was a man, I did a lot of things that I thought men do. Not true. A true man takes care of his family, his friends, and his community. I'm a firm believer it takes a village to raise a child, and every last one of you in here are here for my son. And I thank you for that. You guys have been here through his whole life. I did not have a choice. I got back out the penitentiary and I ended up going in on a secret indictment. I had changed my entire life when I got out. And I ended up going back for 13 years for some old stuff that I did and I left my son. He was very angry at me for that. I know we have talked many times. I wanted to be there. I really wanted to be there. But we cannot, and I know my son, he was strong, he has a lot of my traits. And I hear that every the day. Some of these things I did not know, like him, landscaping. When I landscape a yard and I see a yard, I love to do it. He has, a, he has something about me. Please excuse me for whining. So basically, you guys are my family, every last one of you. You guys have done something for me that I could not do. My son was very strong-minded. He was strong-willed. He was very intelligent. I mean, very intelligent. I remember when he first told me, he said, Dad, and this is when I was in the penitentiary, he said, I want to be in the Marines. Yes, he liked his gun. When he said that, I thought about it for a minute, and I said, he's a grown man. At first, I wasn't with it, and I thought about it because I did not want to see my son gone. And then he told me, and then when I get out, I'm going to be a police officer. That was his main goal. He wanted to get his license. He wanted to get a permit. My son was a very, very fantastic man. Now he's gone. I love that boy. I love that man. With my life, I have his name tattooed on my chest right now. I have friends name tattooed on my chest. I have my daughters. I have my family. He 
Yes, don't blame us though. For all the men in here, if you have kids, please, I beg you, cherish them. Talk to them, be there for them. If there's young men in here that are getting in trouble, that are doing things that they shouldn't be doing, think about the results and the consequences. You don't want to leave your family. That was the worst thing that had happened to me in my life. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, being away from my son. And now you go. And so please, please, these kids are our future. We can't do without them.